With every second that passed, the risk of them being noticed loitering grew. Finally, just after 10.30, Balchik signaled the Mercedes was coming. Seconds later, a Palka set off across the road. A tram rounded the corner. Kabchik stepped out, but his sten jammed. Instead of accelerating away, Heydrich ordered his driver to slow. Kubish pulled the grenade from his briefcase. Heydrich was hit by shrapnel. Even so, he decided to take them on. Kubish made his getaway. Gabchik, however, was pursued by Heydrich's driver. Reinhard Heydrich had been badly injured. He was taken to the nearby Bolovka Hospital. The grenade had driven fragments of metal, seat cover, and shreds of his own uniform into his vital organs. His life now hung in the balance. News of the attack was immediately wired across Germany. When Himmler heard it at his field headquarters, he reportedly burst into tears. Five days later, Himmler visited his wounded colleague in hospital. Initially, it looked like Heydrich might pull through, but his wounds had become infected. Without access to penicillin, septicemia, blood poisoning, had set in. Reinhard Heydrich died on the 4th of June 1942, eight days after the attack. <laughs>